Dad's got the sign ready. After a bit of a palaver, as usual. Yeah, a bit of a palaver. So the two centimetre may be slightly bigger than our block work, but that'll give room across the board. Yeah. It's really wet, smells wet. It's really wet. And good morning, we're back here on Saturday, fry up Saturday as well. Since we're uh, close to the spa, it's, uh, it's a bacon butty every day here, so it's one happy owl. But um, so we're back on the porch, obviously, and here we have it. Concrete is all set, <coughs> nice and uh, ready to work on. We've knocked off the shutter in because the concrete's grabbed them all, so there's no chance we're getting them back, but they can just get buried. Um, Got the dad's got the sign ready. After a bit of a palaver, as usual. Yeah, a bit of a palaver. But um, long story short, we had to go back to Skem, then back to Ormskirk for nothing. <laughs> but um, anyway, we're going to make that time back now. Getting the bricks loaded up now. First time using these brick tongs in quite a while. But. Yeah, so the plan today is get this up to slab height, which I think Dad said is six brick and two and a bit blocks, I think he said, I can't remember fully, but that sounds about right. And then we've got our lintels to go over the pipe gaps and we're also going to try and take out this little stone porch door because obviously the floor level is going to run in from there, so that's the plan. Let's get on it. We are ready. Let's get set up. Just fix that mixture so we can go in it. Okay, so our porch is 2.1 by 14.20. So if you put that, our, oh, we're doing a 50mm cavity, so the wall's going to be 250. So we set that at 250 on it. That's that. You mark. Yeah, hold it there. And then, so there's our two outside lines. Now, this line, we'll just do this fence because there's no brickwork going against the wall here. That's a double edge. There's a camera in the way. <laughs> so, I can't see the line now because the sun. It's the line. I'm going to do this. Right, so, definitely going up to down, which is here. So that's our line. And then I'm guessing two, four, six. Um, go 12. It's, gonna, it's not going to be 12. We've got a line in now. This is this is where we can nail our profile up now. Follow this line. So 14.20. Just check. Check. check okay. yeah, that's fine. So we can measure off the bottom. Sometimes if the wall's out of plumb coming this way and you measure off the bottom, then the top of the porch will push the brickwork off your brickwork so it won't fit at the bottom. 14 14 20 right tighten the flag 14 20 tighten the flag put the spread on the concrete same again over here Mm. 
Come to about there. Okay, you want to tape on that, mate? We just, just set this up for We set our two point one. Right, bring it in, bring it into me a bit. Transfer that line. That there. So, to work out your, your diagonal, so 2.1, the x, x2 button squared, so that's 4.41, and then you've got 1.420, 1 point, not that, 1.420. That's right, isn't it? Fourteen twenty squared is two point zero one six four plus four point four one. So you're adding the basically you're adding the square of that to the square of that, which gives you that, which is six point four two two six four. And once you've got that total, you go to the that one. You see that? Okay, that one. That's the square root button. Click that. That gives us two point five three five, which is that's our diagonal. So corner to corner, it should measure that. So let's do that now. Two point five three five. Yeah. Right, you can stick it on that line, mate, as low as you can. Put about three quarters up. Two point five feet there, that wasn't far off. Okay. Same again, you try that one. Of course these bricks aren't exactly perfectly straight up. You can always check these and get the mm. course down. 2.5, yep. So mark your corner before you lose it. Same again here. Mark your corner. Here you go. Then put it set out. Now because it's only a, it's so small. We can do our levels with the six foot levels. So just put your camera in there out. That's on your floor level. So we're bringing that floor level through the whole porch. So this is coming out and we're raising our DPC level up to the which is Is it that one? It is two above, isn't it? It's probably more the actual floor. Yeah, but it's for, I mean, that door's staying in, so we don't have to be absolutely spot on with the floor. We just get, we need to get our DPC levels up. One, two, three, four. That gives us six to damp. So our new damp is there. And we'll be building a step to get in now. So if you hold that, if you hold that on the, um, on your damp level. <coughs> I can't really see the bubble from here. I'm okay, I can see it. So that's 450. 445. So that's low by 20 mil. So we can pick that up in the first couple of courses. So there's our marks to work off. These these two lintels are going to go right through there. And then, so we've got our, we've got our sitting out done, got our walls marked. And we've got our levels done. Nick's in, so let's get cracking. Get these corners set up and then have a brew. The, um, 
the profile, the, the defense board we use. Oh yeah. Please, mate. Thank you.
there we go. Big bed because the concrete is a bit low, but the big bed so it doesn't look so bad. So there's our floor level, which is, looks very high. But it's not. It's the level of the house. Uh, yeah, 60 down. So it's going to be too close a block on the inside. But the door stops about here. It's just a return. It's just where the cavity wall returns and the rest of its frame. So there's just one skin there for the, the flap slot to go to. And then block work around there. This side's going to be a bit more involved because we've got the lintels in here. Which we're going to have a go at after break. I think Alex is just making a brew. So when the joint is corner up, transfer everything over to this side. So we get bigger again. Alright. Let me double check. Yeah, to the, uh, to the brick. Oh, shit. To be fair though, they do look like they get bigger here, so... I'll just follow what's there for now. This is, all, this is the only brick left. It's the tier, isn't it? So, yeah. And this part's still underground, so... It's still the practice spot. Um, I've got two bolts, what does it mean I broke them? Yeah. Right. 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 Are you sure it's sinking now? What was that? 250 meters. By the top side. Uh, it wants to go in a bit. Okay. Uh, Lift it. Don't put, it's just sinking. It. Push it. It's sinking no matter what we do. We're pushing it even worse. Right, that's, that's where we want it to be. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's going to sink even more when you put a bit of lint on top of it. Not when I put a bit of brick underneath it. Just straight it.
Dump some music over it then. Right, 10 to 12. Alex just running front which has got a piece in it, like a decent size, three quarter inch, so just to make sure we get that in the middle and nice and uniform. There's the uh, lintel setup. That's two 1500 set well onto the, that little pad in the corner. And then we've got that onto that lintel and the cross onto the other side. And then we've got another one to cut up there for the inside skin, which we'll be done after dinner. Here's the lintels. And it's all set out, all the dimensions are right, all the levels are right. And that's our slab level. It's looked quite high, but like I say, it's matching now. There'll so be a step going in, don't worry. Yeah, there's a step going in. So when we, um, when we complete this slab, we'll complete this area here, so we can put a, a little Probably just a 3b2 up on bricks on there. And that's it. So we do have to make it a step bigger, we've just got to build it the flag, it's a small step. So there's a there's a three quarter, as you can see there, that's under the door. That's fine. Yeah, so Alex is running the front end, I'm gonna jump on the side. Uh, we've just got a brew made, so I think we'll have an early dinner out. What do you think? Sounds good to me, I'll get this brick in. Okay. So um drop back on it after have a quick dinner.
Ah, uh, what time is it? I don't uh, your phone's on the radio, isn't it? Okay, have to have a GoPro listen. Mm. It is ten to three. Oh, that's great. There you go. That is our new floor level, DPC and floor level, as you can see. It's below the original. But this, this is coming out. Not today though, because I've got a recipo saw so with no blade. With no blade. And the customers rather have this in over the weekend because they're not here tomorrow. Because once this is out, it's just the airlock on the house. I said maybe get a and just a deadlock on it for now. It's going to be a, probably a week, a bit longer before it's fitted. But anyway, the floor, you can't really tell on the film, the floor is lifted. Get us a spirit level out, please. Um, it's got a massive crack in the middle of it, and it drops either way. No big in. Four foot will do. So, so if we put it in the middle, <coughs> There you go. It's on the wonk a bit. Just there. <laughs> yeah, a bit wonky. Which isn't, isn't a problem. Because... Look at that. It's not a problem because... We're going to have to it with the new slab. So, because of that, I'm going to take all this up and it'll give us room to get our insulation down the drain. This has got to come off. If we can, get, we can come up to here with our slab. Up to there. So we need to get this down 225 so we can get the insulation and the concrete made. So all this can be broken up and thrown in here where we've got plenty of room to get rid of it because we've got to come up to the one block down so we've got all that to build up. Got all the clinker and stuff we dug out there to put in. That can go in later on. But we'll get this stuff in first. Um, yeah, I'll actually load out there. There's a hundred bricks to go on this side, and this side is just a 270 nib. Just lift that board, please, mate. So the 270 nib is slightly bigger than our block work, but that'll give room for the plaster board. So that's just straight up. There's our nib, the So we've got a um, window frame, door frame. Ooh, a bit of rain. Window frame, 200 mil door frame. And then that. That's how it works. So, um, yeah, we'll uh, put in time up for I break this floor up and jump in this hole. Tell you what, I'm thinking I'm, I'm chuffed with that, are you? I didn't even do any of that and I'm chuffed with it. 7 times 4 is 28, isn't it? Um, yeah. 3 blocks short. Hey, that's good news, I thought it was shorter than that. Just picked them up from home. Yeah. But there you go, so as Dad said before, that floor was terrible, so that's all been buried in here. Take a closer you can see it's, the whole thing's damp. Yeah. It's really wet, smells wet. It's really that's wet. Got, that's got a um, good day and a half now to dry out. Yeah. We go over the top of it. And then we're going to take the doors out. And when the doors come out, we're going to take that top cause of brick out. And then our insulation can sail right through. 
Happy days. So we've took that slab up and used it as hardcore, so we're almost done for hardcore now. That's probably ready for whacking and blinding. And we used every last bucket of that stuff we dug up and it's come up pretty nice. Again, we're almost there. It's just to the top of the uh, first block, isn't it? Yeah, it's a 100 slab, 125 insulation. Beautiful. So that's us for today, though. Well, us for today and tomorrow. So we're going to be back here Monday to get this slabbed up concrete concrete is slabbed up isn't it slabbed up tamped up and okay, we'll start the brickwork then yeah in the afternoon get the profiles on and back the brickwork yeah so dad's going to uh, load out some brick while i do some tidying up but then tuesday hope if everything works well slabbed up and brickwork will be almost done so tuesday we'll do the block work inside in the morning and then in the afternoon take that down but for now, we'll see you on Monday.